Well, I've been in the telecom space since 1982, working up and down the value chain. That's taken me right around the world, a number of countries, a number of companies. Uh, and I've been the chief executive of Arkiva here now for just over three years. Well, when I joined Arkiva, I thought probably, we'd probably do two things very well, sweat the assets and do complex program management. And frankly, on the second topic, it was a hell of a shock, a rude shock to me on, on, on arriving. Um, because clearly we didn't. And in fact, we had threats of litigation from some of our mobile operator customers. Um, we were helping deploy 4G networks and we were not doing a good job. Um, and in fact, it was a crisis. One of our customers said, look, Simon, um, there's a company that you may not have heard of, uh, not given that you've not worked in the UK. The, the company's name is Mentor. Um, I rate them very highly. I've used them a lot and I think they could be of great help to you. And interestingly, I was chatting with my chairman about this, and Mike also had used Mentor on a number of occasions, and so that's how I came to find Mentor. Absolutely. So, uh, in fact, uh, I was uh, in discussions with one of our customers uh, about a month ago, and they said that you have gone from being a zero, where we were threatening litigation, to being at the top of the Premier League in terms of how you are perceived across the industry in terms of your execution on these uh, complex rollouts. Uh, and I don't believe we could have got there without mentor support. I think if we hadn't brought mentor in, we would have ended up in litigation with our customers. I don't think that we would have delivered the 4G programs in the time frame required for our customers, one in particular to meet its regulatory obligation, its license obligation that it had committed as part of the auction process. They imparted knowledge, expertise and capability. We've reconstructed the team. The processes that we now use uh, are based on a lot of the advice and input that we got, got from Mentor. So there is a, an echo that is still with us from all of the good work that Mentor did with us. There's depth, breadth uh, uh, there in terms of the experience. So when mentor come in, you know, they, they, they know what questions to ask uh, and they go from top, top to bottom. So you know, they spent time with me as the CEO, you know, how do I see this? What are my concerns? What am I looking for? And then mentor uh, basically worked across our team and engaged with our customers as well to understand how, how it was seen. So it was multifaceted in terms of understanding from uh, an Arkiva perspective and a customer perspective. And because they're so well known across the, uh, the universe that we work within, uh, you know, they very quickly understood what was needed. And, and, and we got very good, very candid, very direct advice. I think complex program management in telecoms has always been you know, very, very challenging. And I've worked in turnkey delivery situations in the Middle East, and, and, and I thought that was tough. Here in the UK, I think, actually, we're not good at infrastructure. We're not good at complex program management. Um, and a customer today actually said to me, you know, my challenge, Simon, is that everything around me is exploding. My data volumes are going up. The network complexity in terms of SDN, NFE, new radio access networks, converge cores, Everything is moving. Uh, and I think that just finding people with experience, capability, track record is very, very, very difficult in, in, in this sector. So I think that is a challenge, that's a conundrum. And then on top of that, in the UK, we have issues around planning permissions and way leaves. And you put all these things together into the mix uh, and you sort of bring a time frame sort of dimension to that as well. It's horrendously sort of challenging and difficult for the industry. And, and, and I think on the 4G rollouts, it had been so long since the industry had done 3G, it had rusted. So there was a rusting dimension here as well. People who knew how to do it had retired or moved on. So it just it came together. And I worry as we approach 5G, while there are some of the learnings there from, 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 from 4G, for example, there are a whole range of other issues there around transmission, which I know is a, a, a subject near and dear to, uh, to Mentor's heart that I think we're going to have to crack as well. Well, dark fibre is crucial to the success of 5G. You need dark fibre to connect all that kit that's going to go out there. So that, you know, it's the right time to be looking at this. 
Um, uh, there's no silver bullet, but you know, Mentor is, I think, understood that this needs to be cracked by the industry. There are, it's fragmented at the moment. There are a bunch of players out there. We still have issues in terms of yeah, the cost of digging up streets. Do you use ducts that exist? Do you use sewers that exist if, if you can put run fibers through, through those? Uh, and you know, my, my sense is Mentor have a very good understanding of the overall environment in terms of what's available to get this thing moving, uh, what needs to be done. Uh, and I think collectively, as an industry, we need to work together to get that dark fibre out there to connect this kit, or the UK will not be a 5G leader. Well, the first thing I'd say about Mentor is they're a great partner. So they get to understand what it is that you're looking to achieve. Uh, they bring great substance, great people, great knowledge, very results oriented, very candid, and they just help you get to the other side. You know? And to me, that's what's really important about working with Mentor. I'd most definitely hire Mentor again.